But the news, man, is just apocalyptic. I don't know, maybe I'm hypersensitive, you know, but God, you ever sit around and just watch what's coming up on the news? Is it unbelievably depressing? This half hour, war, death, famine, AIDS, homeless, recession, depression, drought, flood, earthquake, riot, pit bull. <laughs> and snooker highlights. God, we got some fucking news coming up here. Riots, yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the snooker? Earthquake, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I don't get it. I mean, I get here and I'm watching, I turn on, you know, there's fuck, the same two guys who were playing when I was here nine months ago. Is it the same fucking game? Or they look weary. And I like the game. Don't if you leave here tonight thinking Bill doesn't like snooker, you'll be wrong. <laughs> but 24 fucking hours a day? I get tired getting head that long, huh? <laughs> start looking at my watch after an hour. I just come on, snooker's on. <laughs> I don't want any more chips. Come on. And I figured, you know, I don't know the game, but I figured out why it takes so fucking long. It's because that guy with the white gloves who keeps taking the fucking balls out and putting them back on. That bastard. Is he in a bad marriage? Does he not want to go home or something? To me, if you get a ball in a pocket, good shot, all right. Here comes white glove, fucker. This game will never end. Yes, that's a little tedious, you know? I figured out what snooker needs. Riots. <laughs> I would pep that game up a lot. Seeing some cues going over people's heads. Stoning that white glove guy with the ball. <laughs> I ain't going home to her. <laughs> Get a divorce, let the fucking game in. <laughs> Ew, the news. I'm tired of the news. This is going to be the new enemy of the 90s. Hear me now, trust me, the media is our fucking enemy. Okay? First of all, for instance, I'm tired of these polls they keep taking. Now, you guys just went through this, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, labor ahead in the poll, election, boom! Labor nowhere near. Fuck you! <laughs> you know why? Because that white glove guy went over to the box. <laughs> but all you see these days are these polls. Right? Poll, poll result, every news show, poll, poll, our poll, we took a poll, 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 poll. Out of all these fucking polls, I've never been polled once. Now someone's getting polled out there, and it ain't me, babe. No, no, no. By round of applause, how many people here have never been polled? By round of applause, never been polled. That's about 90% of you. I just polled you, so it's okay. <laughs> Was it a magical night? Did you, did you tell your friends? Got pulled last night. Bill Hicks pulled me. Yeah. Pulled a bunch of us. <laughs> Remember, if you're pulled, you're not just pulled by that person, but every person that person's pulled the last seven years. So, safe polling. That is my message. But anyway, these polls are very misleading. I saw one in the U.S. How many people disapprove of George Bush's handling of the country? 70%. Of these same people, how many will vote for him again in November? 70%. Where did they take that poll at? Some S&M parlor? Ow! More. Ow, don't stop. Evil impression of an S and M <laughs> Embarrassed by it too. Please. Jesus. Maybe I need something with caffeine. Anybody got coke? 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 
Don't worry, folks. This is all a phase. <laughs> tell you what else I'm tired of. These fucking test audiences they do for movies before they come out. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know they test market audiences for movies and then they change the movie depending on how this test audience liked it? For instance, I go see this movie, Basic Instinct. It just came out here. Piece of shit. <laughs> really is. It's like a bad Streets of San Francisco episode, alright? <laughs> Save your fucking money. Anyway, come to find out, all the lesbian sex scenes were cut out of this movie because a test audience was turned off by them. <laughs> Man, is my thumb not on the pulse of America, you know. I don't, I don't want to seem like Randy Pan the goat boy, but uh, it's the only reason I went to that piece of shit, you know. If I had been in that test audience, the only one out front protesting right now would be Michael Douglas demanding his part be put back in. I swear I was in that movie, I swear I was. Gee, Mike, the movie started, Sharon Stone was in bed with another woman for an hour and a half, then the credits rolled. Because <laughs> I am a boy. <laughs> it's so funny, it's such a piece of shit movie, and it's titillating middle America is what it is, middle class people. People go, oh man, it's a great movie. Yeah, why? You get to see Sharon Stone's pussy. <laughs> The hallmark of art, you know. <laughs> yeah, you get to see her pussy for one eighth of a second. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> Don't play the <for> popcorn. <laughs> I got news for you, folks, and I hope I'm not, you know, letting you in on anything you don't know. There's films with nothing but pussy at all. No, one eighth of a second. That's one eighth of a second of plot. The rest is pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> if you want to see pussy, I would recommend going straight to the pussy section of the tape store <laughs> and save your fucking money. Because that's how bad this movie is, you know? They're just titillating people. You know what I mean? It's a shitty movie. Forty minutes into it, you're going, God, this sucks. Jesus, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> Did you just see her pussy? <laughs> what, did I see what? No, I was looking over there. <laughs> you missed the whole film. <laughs> yeah, you can get whole tapes of it, I swear to you. And, uh, I'll tell you the story, right? I'm in London, right? I'm walking down the street, and this fucking busload of tourists from Idaho or something gets off. And they bumped into me, right? And I flew into this adult bookstore. <laughs> All right, right through the looking glass, right? <laughs> Billy in Wonderland. Anyway, I was really embarrassed, and I had my hands in my pockets, and I threw it. Boom, money flies out of my hand. <laughs> onto the fucking counter, right? And this guy hands me this magazine. I'm just bare, I'm blushing. So I ran right to the hotel room to throw it away, right? <laughs> throw it in the garbage, it hits, breaks open on my bed. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, you guys, I'm going to have to start importing my own porno into this country because uh, it's bizarre. You guys, they, they're people, they're naked, cool, I'm with you, I recognize the positions, great. But over their genitalia are blue dots. <laughs> Ooh, they're throwing me off. <laughs> naked guy standing like that, woman down here like that, and a blue dot right here. <laughs> I wonder what's happening. 